I hope this works. I created this little jig. I've got this uh, into a, a dado at 90 degrees uh, into my piece so that now I can flip it and make sure I take off the same amount off of both ends and keep, keep this uh, centered on the piece. I'm going to cut it long. I've got about uh, three-eighths of an inch to play with on each end and I, I believe the end I have in the in the saw here, this end near the blade is the short end. So I'm just going to take a skim cut on that flip it and see where I'm at. the other one and if uh, if it's they're symmetrical then this should be centered on both pieces regardless of which direction I flip it all right let's see how we did here and that's very good that is very good flush Flush and just about just a hair off, and that's probably because of the way the saw blade ran through there. All right, I like that. Now I can get them closer to final dimension, and then uh, do some shooting board work. I think. You can see how much I have to work with there on uh, both sides. So I'm going to take off about a blade's thickness on both ends and I think that'll uh, get me very close. All right, I need to drill uh, shelf pin holes for my project. I was looking for my old reliable piece of uh, pegboard but I cannot find it. I don't know if it got tossed or what happened so I'm just going to make a shelf uh, pin drilling jig. It's not complicated but the only thing that uh, is critical for me anyway is to use the same drill bit to make the hole in the in the jig and then index uh, accurately. So I'm using my 3 to one blocks here and once I get uh, past a certain point here, which I think will be after this six inches, um, then I'll start indexing off at the top. Um, and then just bring it this way. I'm going to go from seven to uh, about 21, somewhere in there. So here we, here we go.
and we went to 22, but that's all right. So the other critical thing is to mark your top, which will be up here. I'll put it so I make sure this is always up, and then we can go drill our holes. Right, you can see that I've got my jig mark top here. The next uh, thing to do is to uh, set your stop. And since I'm using a, a twist bit here uh, uh, with that point on it, I have to, the, the, uh, the bit has to be a bit longer than the, than the peg there to uh, properly seat flat, you know, into that hole. So I'm, I'm a little bit longer, which is good. That'll allow this thing to uh, seat flat into the case side like that. Okay, so we're good to go here. All right, a couple of clamps, just spring clamps. I'm lining up my edge to edge here. Get a nice straight line. There we go. Now all I need is a drill. Be right back. Okay, last detail. I took a shelf pin and I checked every one of these outside holes on both sides. The, the interior is not a big deal because uh, those holes connect so, so you know that they're both going to seat. But believe it or not I found two holes that, that did not go as deep as need be and uh, you know Murphy's Law you're, that, that'd be the one that your customer would end up using and the, and the shelf would not would not sit there. You know it, it might catch that pin on this edge out here. So I re-drilled those and now I'm confident that they're all in good shape and uh, we're ready to go. I did uh, 120 holes and it probably it only took me about 30 minutes to make the jig, set it up and drill my holes.